Coaches like to use acronyms. Acronyms help us remember things. Did anyone learn Roy G. Biv at school? Or Rust gets on your gearbox? No? I can't remember the rest of that. <laughs> That's the rainbow, but rust on your gearbox is vile, are the colours of the rainbow. I actually happened to call my thing Spectrum because I like rainbows. I like the fact that we all have different aspects of ourselves that reflect light, that other people see in us that we don't see. So that's why I called it Spectrum. But what I want to do is take us back a little bit. Stephen Covey, has anyone heard of him? He tells us to begin with the end in mind. So what that does, he takes us right out to the end of our life and says, what would you like people to say about you? What would you like to say that you've done in the time that you've been here? What are the things that really capture the essence of you? Why does he take us out there when we're really standing here in our 40s, our 30s, our 20s? Why does he take us out to the end of our life? He takes us out there because he wants us to actually reach the end and say, I've done it, I've danced every step, I've moved every inch, I've achieved everything that I want to achieve. And I've had success in the things that I've done, be it my business, be it my family, be it my career. Whatever it is, the things that are important to us are the things that we want to be able to look back on when we're in our rocking chair. And it doesn't matter if those things are different for me or you. What's important is that it's important for you because you're the person that makes the difference in your life and we actually underestimate the difference that we make to our own lives. We look externally and we see these great people on stage. Who's seen Tony Robbins? Fantastic. Who's seen John D. Martini, Laurel Langmire, um, all these people that are great at motivating? You know what the difference is? They actually believe in themselves. They believe that they have something to offer to each and every person that's sitting listening to them. And what that does is that it creates then the mindset that Dallas was talking so that the people in the room think, wow. I can actually get there. I can do something that they're talking about. I had an experience yesterday. My husband went to a John D. Martini and Dale Beaumont free session in Sydney. We brought a friend back with us from Sydney. And um, she was in the car and she was really pumped. She thought Dale Beaumont was a you know, great thing and Lenore will tell you just how brilliant Dale Beaumont is. And John D. Martini, I've had the experience of getting him to write the forward for my book. I know that he has a passion to speak to people and to help them find their motivation and to find the inspiration that creates their world. And this girl, this young woman was in the car with us and she was pumped and she said, I never realised that I had inspiration. And I said, what do you mean? And she said, I never realised what drove me to do the things that I do. And she said, I was sitting in the lecture and she said, I heard Dale Beaumont in the first three minutes talk about the importance of education. And she said, then I heard Di Martini talk about the signpost, talk about the things that were important to me and the values that I had. And she said, I suddenly connected that what I'm doing and what I'm passionate about is teaching. She has a very specialised area and she is very brilliant about it. She's now going to go and do her honours thesis in the work that she's doing and really take it out to other people and she's actually got a grant for it. She had all of this before she went to that seminar yesterday but in that seminar she actually connected the dots and realised that her inspiration was education. She knew it all the time, I knew it about her. When she's saying it I said yeah but she hadn't connected it. She'd looked at everyone else and hadn't connected it. But it's that attitude of gratitude. I spoke about being thankful. I'm so grateful to have and be surrounded by people that support me. And some of them are here today. Some of them I really appreciate booking in on a Friday afternoon. And you know, being thankful to people means that you get to do nice things. So, one of the things I like, and as a kid I used to like to get something. So as an adult I like to give something. So who feels that their year so far is going pear-shaped? Does anyone think that the year is pear-shaped for them? There's a bit of laughter in the front. Am I taking that to be a yes or a no? 
A yes? Here you go. If you fan that out, it becomes a pear. You can sit it on your desk and it can bring you back on track. It reminds you that when you think that things are going pear-shaped, just have a look at that. And if you really want it, collapse it down and then it doesn't look like, quite like a pear. Would anyone like else like a little reminder for their desk? <laughs> Sometimes it's about having fun about those things that are really stressing us, that we can um, move beyond them. You know, one of the great things, we talk about centering yourself, and that's one of the steps. And centering yourself allows you to really focus on what you want. You know, we talk about goals. Coaches talk about goals. Dallas spoke about chunking down the things that matter to you. If you have like a create a little visual presence for yourself to remind you what are the important things and then you can play it whenever you like, it's a really great mind tool to really focus you. So is anyone nodding on that's a good idea? And if you've got a good, heads up, if you've got a good graphic designer that you know, you might like to get them to create a PowerPoint presentation for you so that they can actually do it because it's a really good thing even to have it on your laptop. So when those moments are really, you're thinking it is going pear-shaped, play the photos, the things that matter to you to bring back your inspiration. Um, because it's really important to remember that. And you know, the attitude of gratitude, it's really great to keep a little journal and to remind yourself. Because if you don't remind yourself what's important and you aren't thankful for what's important, guess what? Some things aren't going to show up for you because you thought, it's like the universe says, well, you weren't thankful for that. Do we really want to give you this as well? So having a little journal that reminds you of that is a really powerful tool. Now, would anyone like a journal if they don't already keep one? You've got one? Journal? It's a really, yeah? You keep one? Fantastic. It's great to keep journals. It really is important. Um, so they're just little techniques that remind you the miracle steps along the way. Is anyone really passionate about listening to something that really creates in them the sense that this is what I want to do? They might do a meditation. They might do something that, or music that really gives them a lift. And they just want something that they can carry that's small. I've got one. Does anyone like coffee as a serious? Yeah, I like coffee. See you, Pete. Yeah. Thanks, Deb. And, and Deb, so that when you're travelling between Nelson Bay and Newcastle, you can carry a nice cup of coffee. <laughs> So they're the really important things to remember, that it's nice to reward yourself, it's nice to be rewarded and it's nice to be acknowledged. I haven't got a lot of time because I know Lenore's coming in and who believes that the universe is infinite, that it creates a world that we just don't know about. <laughs> he doesn't want that gift. <laughs> no, don't worry. It, would anyone like that as a reminder on their desk that the universe really is infinite? Okay, there you go, Louise. It's one of those things. Now, for the two that I was actually thanking for coming along today, how about some water bottles so that when you next go out on a big night, you've got some chasers with you? <laughs> oh, so who hasn't got something? Who didn't end up with something after? Mel. Mel, I know you're in insurance and... It can be looked at as a bribe or something, I don't know. Um, how about a book light? So that when you read the book, you can read it when you're traveling, because you're going to be traveling. So there's a little book light you can stick on the book and you don't annoy people when you're on the plane and turn that light on overseas. Um, and there's a little a groovy little planner. So that, there you go. So they're the things. Miracles happen. It's what you do with the things that give you the little signs that you're on the right track is the important thing for you and that creates the inspiration.